let's get started guys. So this is the last session. Hopefully you guys enjoy a lot VMware already. So you saw a lot of announcement from VMware this, uh, this week, right? VMware Cloud and VMware Tanzu, a lot of, lot of news announcement. So I try to give a good update, whatever in, in Andrea and NSX, so container networking in general. So some already been announced earlier, so some is updated. So it's been the full portfolio of the 21, 2021 update of our container networking. So then uh, Rahul, feel free to uh, allow any folks joining the call. I need to go with the presentation. So I'm with Rahul, my co-speaker as well. And here, so the, the, the agenda is three different things, but before I go that, this is a disclaimer, some of the new products, uh, new features coming lately, uh, very shortly <laughs> as well, we don't know. So that's why I put disclaimer. So uh, some tech preview, some beta features. So feel free, we not guarantee to, to, to have anything like that, but uh, by disclaimer. So that mean you're gonna see that, I'm excited. Let's go with the three different topics. First, we're gonna talk about entry in depth, what, why, how, and what are performance, what are the features, what are the solutions we have, Entria, why we do that, and what you can you take away from that. Second, we're gonna talk about the NSX, which is NSX and CP, you already know the network containers, that how we added value for vSphere Tanzu. And third is the new announcement, this VMworld better together, entry and NSX integration together, see how it looks. And, and this is a tech preview. Then along with that, every single thing, we have the demo. So let's start with uh, the first one, right? And at the end, I'm gonna go with the scaling, how we put in production and do the full recap. Next sense, let's go So the journey. So the traditional model, I always start the presentation like that. So we have 3G app, you fell in love with SCDC, we put a web app DB and we put a distributed firewall along the line with SCDC. This is traditional way. Now we move to the uh, distributed model with the modern app. We have multiple type of workloads, could be container, could be virtual machine, could be bare metal. Now not only running in single day CDC, now we're running in multiple environment, could be on-prem, could be in the cloud, could be at the edges. So it becoming more and more challenged, right? Run application become very complex and highly distributed environment like this. The attribute and who, what, where, who, where, who connected, where it coming from, what application they try to attack, where it's going, that kind of thing becomes challenging not only from networking and also security. So that's why we come up with the entry and all the networking, container networking values. So first entry, we're gonna talk very deep today, very slowly and go deep, where entry can bring the values for networking connectivity and security policies. That's the one demo we're gonna show. Second, when you go to NSX with vSphere, we have NSX and CP, bring the value added for vSphere Tanzu. That's another demo we do. And at the end, so we combine the two, and that's a new thing we announced this, and this time in uh, VMworld, the entry NSX coming uh, lately, but this is tech preview. So how to tie entry into NSX, why we need that. So as you saw at the beginning that uh, Raghu, our uh, CEO announcing, we want to give a customer multiple environment you can deploy on on kind of clouds and give you choice and freedom and flexibilities. That's how we come up with those uh, container plugin. Let's start with the first session. In here, you saw it yesterday, we announced Tanzu Commission uh, Community Edition, TCE. That means that's it, the place is fully open source, freely available and download. You can go and download from this link and then you can play with that. So they have all the layers from the low layer on the middle and on the way to the, end, the high level. So the connectivity is Andrea playing the game here. So we have three type of container networking, monitors for multiple IP in the same part, same container, or Andrea is the default CNI plugin for TCE and Calico, that three we supported. I think we're gonna support more, but right now we announced and we support three. That's what we announced yesterday. And now the goal on the entry is the default CNI. That's the play you go and download it. And now I go deep down into that. Why we need entry? What's the goal of entry? Okay. Let's start with that. Give me one second. So I need to, any question before I go that folks can ask, feel free to jump in. Okay. So I unmute everyone already. 
So let me share again the screen. You see again, right? Okay. So this is Andrea. Before I go that, this is the project CNCF. We uh, uh, VMware the, the behind the scene. We donated to CNCF. They've been accepted. The three main component in here is uh, Andrea. One, the controller. We build our controller. Data plan, we use OBS. We make this choice for multiple reasons. You see in the next slide, we show that. And we try completely with uh, Kubernetes, right? This is the link. You can go and grab it. Then this tied together with Tanzu, VMware Tanzu, which is the second demo. And the third demo, we try with NSEC. You see how it's work. Then um, before I go, somebody might not know my normally Andrea. What is Andrea, right? And go back to the base level of the Kubernetes. The Kubernetes have one master and three worker nodes. That's a, the basic level, right? So let's see how it looks. In the basic level of Kubernetes, you deploy an app. Here you deploy an app. app. That's it could be multi-tier apps, but the front end, the catalog, and the payment. That's basic level. You deploy those apps. You need the networking connectivities. You need the policies. You need all of the plumbing across multiple locations. So Kubernetes do not provide that. Let's give the flexibility to the provider to provide the CNI plugging container networking interface. That's why Antria are coming. That's exactly what Antria are doing. So we have the controller running and we have agent and we have the network connectivities between the pods, between the same node or different nodes. You have network security policy, make that pod can communicate with other pods, yes or no, right? Then that's the Antria context. Why we do that? We gonna go and across multiple environment. You can not only earn on-prem, now we can only in the cloud and it could be in production, but they're fully loaded. We have fully uh, tested in different uh, so solution you can see in the next slide. Then uh, go back to the basic level of Antria. What is exactly Antria running behind the scene? But you certainly saw that Antria have two main components, right? So the, the go along with uh, Kubernetes. So the master have all of the component in blue. Antria coming in the control plan is a hexagon box. And the data plan we use OBS, they talk together via the tunnel. This is GIE, could be VXLAN or other things. So this is the first level you deploy in part. The pods running in every single node, this is worker node, could be different pods in different nodes, do not need the communication between them. So that thing we need to deploy that service. So we got thousands, thousands of services running. So we cannot put every pod, communicate with every pod. So let's say in here we have the front end, the expo is a service front end, the back end service is the back end, and the database could be another service. So those services, they need to do communication between them. To do that, you need the network policies to set, allow or block traffic, right? And that's where the network connectivity coming, allow you connect them together and apply the policy along the line, which we allow or block traffic, or drop traffic, whatever. This is the base level of Kubernetes doing the, uh, the blue lights on the compute storage. Antria coming to the CNI blocking for networking and policies. So I see the idea of Antria. Behind the scene, how it works, it's very depth. The key differentiation between Antria and other uh, CNI, you're gonna see a lot of CNI on the market. Why Antria is open source for sure. And then they have two main components, the controller running as, as the master node and the daemon set running as a worker node. Every single worker node, we have one daemon set running with Antria agent. And those agents then offload a lot of work from uh, directly connect to the Kubernetes like all the CNI. Our Antria, they upload some work to the controller. Our controller become the uh, API aggregator, allow you upload a lot of work from, from the Kubernetes API, make it much faster. We see in the next slide, we show all the performance. That's one enhancement on the master node we do in a control plan. The second enhancement we do is the Antria CNI. When you turn on create kubectl, create a path, the port and create that is sent from the Kube API and send to kubelet, kubelet spin up a new pod and ask Antria to provide networking and security policy. Instead of go and, and talk with Kube proxy, they like order CNI. Here we go and talk with the OBS and the OBS is gonna program the flow directly. It make it much faster in terms of performance. And you see more detail and um, feel free to reach out to us, but I'll share a couple of uh, numbers we have uh, provide and publish, okay? And not only that, it's very easy. One single click, you go and deploy Antria. This is the command in yellow color, boom, done, right? 
Now, in terms of uh, the, uh, the traffic workflow, so if they have two worker node, one and two, they talk to each other, you can do the same uh, tra traffic via OBS, right? And that directly communication between the two. Now, if you go across multiple paths between different nodes, you go out, they have tunneling, encapsulate one side, and they are decapsulate. And the other side, this thing is Geneva, and VXN also the supported as well. Now, when you do that, instead of go directly to the IP table and, uh, and program the flow via QProxy, we do exactly on the fly inside the OBS with switches using the IPVS and all the technical contracts and at a low level to make it much faster than all the solutions rather than do at the, uh, the, the user space. We do it directly in the OBS level. And all the number we come here in the next slide showing a performance number we, we come up with. This is consistently a lot of one, 2000, 4000 network policy, the conversion time almost the same, 0 0.2 second. And we test up into 1000 node in 100K of pass, the really high scale and performance is completely much better than, than all the solution you see it. And those are the number we test with the older version and we have partnership with, uh, with Intel and with the newer hardware chips and new software, we are, can attend much more. Uh, okay, so someone asked me to see the transcript. Okay, okay, so should we go that me have to turn on the transcript? <laughs> I'm not sure I like it, we will like it. Uh, Okay, so, so, so this is the performance we have achieved uh, in Antria. And this is the solution we partner with Intel. See every single node here, we have Intel chips. We use uh, uh, iSelect with the latest chips that we uh, Intel. And that we achieve the number of performance. You have a look and we go more in the demo and Raoul gonna walk you through that. So this is the TC, uh, TCP uh, performance we have compared with IP table and other solutions. And that's the, what a performance equally is very, uh, again, tremendous in terms of uh, throughput and performance because we make a lot of enhancement on the, the control plan. For the data plan, OBS get almost the same light rate and all the solution, but we make a much more significant performance enhancement on the control plan, right? Now let's look at the demo. This is the first demo we do in that, see how it looks in Antria in action. Go ahead, uh, Rahul. Yep. Thanks, Tuan, for the overview. Let's look at the demo environment. We have a KHS cluster deployed on vSphere environment with uh, one master and three worker nodes. We will deploy an open source Acme Fitness application in the cluster to demonstrate the management of Antria network policies. So uh, we will be using the same application across the other three demos as well. So the demo workflow would be um, familiarization of lab infrastructure and uh, deployment of the cluster network policies. At the end, we will see the traffic communication between the parts uh, by using the Octant UI. Uh, John, can, can you go to, go to move? next slide? Yeah. So yeah, let's see the policy tiring model with Andrea. So uh, along with the KHS network policies, uh, there are a lot many other use cases where Antria supports a very comprehensive policy model, uh, which includes uh, network policies, CRDs, and cluster level policies, which can be applied across the cluster, along with all namespaces within this cluster. So the policy tiring would allow us to uh, uh, specify the resource, uh, specify on which specific tire the policy is created uh, with the different pre precedents. So the concept of tire here is very granular control over to have a granular control over policy management and help ensure that an application operator yeah. cannot okay. override the global global policies. Yeah, so we, finally, we, use, we use CRD, we extend the Kubernetes uh, policy. We don't change it, we add a lot of value. You see the very similar in the NASDAQ later on, we see it. So we can see some application level, they can work on the, the tier at the top. Some platform owner can work in VI admin, can work at the, um, the platform, uh, and then network ops can manage this layer. So we have create multiple tier layers for that reason. It's giving you a ton of flexibility and choices in terms of network policies. That's a great plus to order CNI cannot do. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, 
Yeah, Andrea policies will coexist along with the Caritas network policies. Yeah, let me show you the demo. Yeah, we'll go to a live demo with uh, Andrea. Okay, that's the uh, one already deployed. Go ahead. Yeah. So let's see the status of the our Kubernetes nodes here, and let's see the uh, Andrea nodes which are running in our Caritas uh, cluster. So we have three Andrea agents and one controller being running in our cluster, along with the Andrea Octane pod. So the let's deploy the sample Acme application. So the app is being deployed. Once the app deployed, we will see the status of the app and then apply the cluster network policy over the Acme namespace. So the concentration here would be on the front end part, which, which works on the node port. On the port number 30895, we can access this application over the system node port over uh, given the uh, TCP port there and the catalog port, which communicates with the front end port on the port number 8082. So let's apply the cluster network policy to block the traffic between the front end and the catalog pod. Before that, let's see the kubectl Andrea static tires here. So the tires which we have shown on the PPT are the static tires which would by default be deployed along with the Andrea CNI. The priority we can see here of each associated with each tire and the precedence of each tier will be depending upon the priority assigned to it. The lower the priority number, the higher the precedence of that particular uh, policy attached with that tier. So let's see the firewall policy here. So we are going to apply the cluster network policy, which would be associated with the application tier and will be uh, part of the Acme catalog and front end parts. So let's deploy this. Let's deploy this firewall policy. So the policy is successfully deployed. And after the policy is deployed, we can view the deployed policy by using command kubectl get ACNP, which is short form of Andrea cluster network policy. You can see the policy is already deployed right now. So let's see the traffic status with the Octane UI. So this GUI allow us to view our creators cluster status, the namespaces and the cluster pods running there. We will move to the trace flow UI, where we can apply, uh, where we can start a trace between the two parts within the same namespace. So I'm gonna do a trace flow between the Acme, within the Acme namespace, with the front end pod, and again the Acme namespace with the catalog pod on port 8082. So let me submit this trace. Ideally, the trace of the network packet should be dropped. Yeah. The packets are dropped because of our Andrea cluster network policy. The policy we have applied here, right? So this policy has dropped the network. So let's see the status of app. So the application itself is not able to access the backend catalog because the port 8082 is blocked between these two parts. So let's go back to our cluster and allow the policy and see what changes it would make to our cluster. So let me allow this. I'll change the action from drop to allow and reapply the policy here. Yeah, the policy has been reapplied. Let's go back to the trace flow again to apply the same trace within the front end pod and the catalog pod on port 8082. So we can see once the policy is applied, the app started working automatically, the catalog being accessible. So this concludes the demo one. Uh, over to you, Don. Yep. Let me uh, continue with the slide, right? So let's look at the. Uh, uh, get back my slide. Share. I'm not sure you see me share. Not yet, Don. I, I make it full screen, I don't, you see it now? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I saw some uh, good question on the call, right? So we have more demo coming, right? And how we do a performance enhancement, we use uh, OBS at the user space, but we make a lot of enhancement, right? IPPS and a lot of catching. The first traffic package coming is the same like all the CNI, but the second time we coming, we catch everything. We make a lot of enhancement 
And then we offload a lot of work instead of go to Kubernetes API and upload the ECD. Now we move directly to Antria controller, do the same work that's why we call it Antria aggregator uh, controllers, meet the same level as Kubernetes master. A lot of enhancement we do at the, 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 the control plan. And data plan OES, we make the choice for multiple reasons you see it here. So we have all the yellow thing and thing offer multi-tier policies and we will see more demo how we tie that into NSX and then become very powerful and we can ma manipulate workload between container, bare metal and virtual machine and a lot of feature rich and easy of scale door link we share at the end. You see it easy of scale, easy operation. No one on the market can make it way better for integration with the entire ecosystem with Tanzu. If you're a vSphere customer, you are a Tanzu fan, that's a great place for you to go and try it out. It's on free and with the TC Tanzu Community Edition. It's completely free. And I'm gonna go to a KubeCon next week. We're gonna announce a big announcement on those things. And number seven, it's completely extendable to full NSA portfolio from layer two to layer seven with RV network with all the open source. You like open source, we have a ton of open source products that we show today in the first slide I show. Uh, a lot of proprietary, a lot of commercial solution as well. But let's go with the second demo and we go at the end, a ton of resources you can go and dig dive by yourself, make your own choice, make your own judgment, okay? That's the, that's the, uh, the vSphere with Tanzu. What are the updates for this year after entry? We go with this one. So let's start with the, the concept, why we adopt vSphere with Tanzu. We see a lot of workload coming, 385 million uh, deployed container work-wise in terms of cluster. Three years ago. Now 1.8, five time is almost double or triple every year. And we look at all of the research is telling you the more challenge people have it deploy routers. It could be virtual or physical, mostly it's virtual route. Router deploy five one, make a policy, uh, blocking ransomware, blocking all the issues. Low balancing, scale the app. Those are the top challenge along with storage. This is not a conversation within here we focus on, on networking. And what they do with those things, we see that the top three is inconsistent, uh, inconsistent security between container and virtual machine. This is a container, this is a virtual machine. It's difficult to do micro-segmentation, micro-segment, dev and prod, web, app, DB, and cross visibility across multiple environment. Those are the key challenge. And that, thanks to NSSEC with Antria and with NCP, we have that solution, Antria and data center, along with project entry, I allow you to deploy in the cloud easily without that. We have NSA can deploy in the cloud with NSA cloud or VMware on AWS, VMC, but with entry, it make it easier than one single click. You can deploy entry up container plugin to the cloud. We work with AWS, Azure and other cloud as well. That's very easy. And that bring the whole powerful with NSA. That's the, the, the second demo, we walk you through that. So the first demo you just saw, Rahul just walked you through that. The whole demo, we have all of the graded and graded with Andrea running a standalone for now. And then we have a supervisor cluster with tied to vSphere. Why we do that, we can now, with that, the container become the pod VM, become the first class citizen. And now we can tie with VM and container and bare metal. And, and underneath that, it, we call that network fabric is handled by NSX. Could be on-prem, could be in the cloud. And, in this thing, the way it works, right? You and DevOps guy on the left, on the right is the operation, operation guy, the platform admin. DevOps, they love container. They do keep cattle, create front end. That's the front end part, just example. And Rahul gonna walk through that. Behind the scene, that's the VI admin, VMware, VCA admin, enable WCP, enable all the plumbing, and NSX do the home plumbing that allow you have a full traffic to the past. Now it can go east, west, and north, south. Communication between number caller east, west, and go out directly to namespace. Every time you create a new namespace, they create a one tier one. You have familiar with NSX, they are notion of multi tier. Tier is, is, is a tenant level. And from there, we can route traffic from that. So this tier is belong on tenant one. This tier belong on another tenant two. For example, this is finance, this is marketing, for example. And they don't talk each other. They fully isolate, we call it micro segmentation. And behind the scene, it is dipped into NSX. Exactly that's how we do plumping for traffic coming through that, right? That's the, we do the service. We explore on the part as a service. And from there, they map to NSX component called NSX load balancer, or you can bring RV in all the type of load balancer. And you can load balance between port 80 to port 3000 at the port. Port 80 is from the exposing to outside. 
and we ask for a Kubernetes service. And all you can do, traffic go from SNAT, we go to sort NAT, we NAT, the, the part need to go out the SNAT, and from there we can get traffic directly out to the outside world. So Rahul, I'm gonna walk you through the second demo. And um, go ahead, Rahul. So how is work? This in vSphere with Tanzu, right? Go ahead. Yeah, thanks, Juan. So here we have a vSphere 7 with Kubernetes, which enables operations team to deliver both infrastructure and application services within the same core platform. So our lab here is configured with a supervisor cluster that uses NSXT data center stack to provide connectivity to our creators workloads. So there are three supervisor, there are three supervisor control plane VMs. Uh, uh, so the control plane VM would get a dedicated tier one gateway. Along with that, uh, whatever namespace we can we create on the uh, vSphere, we would uh, it, it also would get a dedicated tier one gateway and the segments. So the NSX segments would automatically scale. So this is VSphere we are running Rahul. We deploy VSphere yeah. and you have uh, every spillet. Spillet is the controller like host on, on every single host that's spillet. And they control all the part VM. So the part is, uh, is running every single uh, host. They become a uh, first class citizen. And from here, you have NSX tie into that, right? And on the right, okay. it's exactly one on one mapping. Tier one here, mapping with tier one here. The two tier one and one tier zero is go out to the internet. That manage the north south traffic going out. And this you do the east west. You go on tier one and, and directly talk between the two, right? Is it correct? Okay. Yeah. Let's That's go. Right. Yeah, let my let me share my screen to show the demo. Yeah, let's dip down into that. I try to recap and folks can have a good understanding how it works. Okay. So this is vSphere view on the left and this NSX view. Rahul, go ahead and walk us through. Yeah, I'm sharing my screen just a Sorry. You need to stop my share. I cannot stop myself. You can stop. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, is my screen visible now? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So now let's look at the control plane VMs and WCP in the, in the vSphere cluster. Let, let me navigate you to the workload management cluster. So the WCP can be enabled by a simple wizard from the vSphere UI within a few clicks by uh, enabling it will enable WCP within our vSphere. And the creation of namespaces within the vCenter is also a straightforward. You can click on new namespace and provide the name and description. It would automatically create a namespace within the vCenter UI and our KHS cluster as well. So let's look at the status of our supervisor control plane VMs. So the, once we enable WCP on the cluster, it would automatically deploy super control plane VMs, which is, our, which is the main part of communication between the APIs within the vCenter and the KHS cluster. We can see there are three control plane VMs which are plumbed to the management network and the PanSX segment VM domain network. So we have already de uh, deployed Acme application as uh, similar to the demo one here. So this application is completely running and the parts being deployed. So we can visualize the parts which are running in the uh, KHS CLI, right? All the parts which are running there can be visualized similar to the virtual machines within the vSphere UI. Along with that, we can view the other parameters of the deployment, like uh, all the part, all the vSphere parts and the YAMLs which we have used to deploy the parts, along with the uh, deployment sets, daemon sets, replica sets. Everything can be visualized from the vCenter UI. Coming to the storage part. All the storage policies which has been applied like config maps secrets and pvcs everything can be viewed from the vcenter ui which all, all the changes which we made from the khs cluster so once the changes has been appended there it will automatically reflect here in this uh, ui so we have deployed a sample khs network policy as well just between the front end and catalog as we've seen in the uh, previous demo this is so the only thing is we can only visualize the things from here so all the services, so each individual compartment will have uh, their own specific services like compute, storage, and network. So let's switch back to NSX UI to see uh, what uh, automation has been happening from the backend while we enable WCP on the uh, vSphere. Let's so, do a quick one. Um, yeah, yeah, short one. 
So we will have a segment automatically created with the namespace here. So once the namespace is created, the components of uh, that particular namespace will be plumbed to the segments. Along with that, there are there will be NAT rules which has been which will be created for the tier one gateway. So the, these NATs would be uh, required for when the pods required to talk to the outside of the environment outside of the cluster. This NAT may, NAT may, this they they will communicate with this, this NAT IP here. So all these are uh, uh, objects of NSX which I'm showing here would automatically created with the operations we do on the vSphere UI. Along with that, you can see the distributed load balancer and server load balancer created here for the distributed load balancer for being the for, for pod services. Along with that, I would uh, show you the server load balancer. This has been created as we apply the Acme frontend pod, which uses the load, uh, which was service type load balancer to allow us to access this from the external environment. So this ends the demo two here. Yeah. Let's go back to the demo three. I have a lot of great yeah. questions on score with, um, we're gonna go with Antria, why we chose it at the end, right? So let's finish that. Uh, why we chose OBS versus uh, EPPS. Yeah, so we make a choice because a lot of flexibilities and talking about OBS is well-known industry and uh, it's widely adopted by industry. And EPPF is that one way we look at it as well, but we make this choice for multiple reasons. I, I talk at the end this year. Then um, this is um, the entry, uh, that's a new thing announced. Uh, it's a tech preview version. So entry, uh, you deploy it on different environments. It can run in anywhere, so not tied with vCenter. You see that there were one question asking. We can run in any environment, from TKG, TKGI, or TCE today. We announced yesterday. Yes, tie with NSX become a challenge. Today, you cannot make it. So that's why we come up with this solution. Allow you to tie NSX to manage all the workload from NCP, the second demo, or virtual machine, or bare metal. Now, tie with Antria. If you love to Antria, we do with open source, so we do like it. Now we want to tie it to multiple reasons you want to do that use case because you want to tie with uh, different workload running on virtual machine or container. That's the thing we're gonna help you to do that. And right, so the entry are gonna have a plugin called entry NSX. You deploy and collect on the logs, start, and then it tie with NSX. And then uh, NSX can become the networking fabric. Now we can manage only not only virtual machine container for networking for security. Now it manage entry as well. The type single panel plus, it gives you the full visibility. There's no one else never seen that. That's the first time we show this demo. Go ahead, the other Rahun. And uh, next, okay. And that's the exactly before we show demo. Hold on, don't go so fast. The first demo entry are running as a single cluster, no type with NSX. NSX is a network fabric, what we call us. <laughs> then uh, now the NSX tie with vSphere, that thing we that's why we'll work quick question. Do Antria needs uh, vSphere? No. The WCP, yes, because it tries with vSphere, give me full visibility, become the container, become the first class citizen inside vSphere. We have TKG back in inside here, as you could into the grid. So the TCE, the new thing just running, it could be run as a cluster standalone right here, or the TKG, as you could into the grid. That, or OpenShift, you saw another demo you see today with my colleagues. Yeah, everything can run outside of that. Now there's a second demo. The third demo, now there's a new thing coming. Can you go next? The entry out, connect to NSX, how it looks, uh, go ahead, uh, Raul. So let's look at the third demo here. So we can see all the containers which we have seen in the demo one in the, with action in NSX here. So we have onboarded the container cluster Antria Creators cluster being the container cluster here with three nodes and 26 pods running over in the same container. So when you run this uh, command and that behind the scene, it tie a sec, uh, tie Antria into that. So on board it, we skip the step. Now it's showing here, that's go ahead. We have to have yeah. Antria version 1.2 1. 1. something above. And now we yeah. look at that, go ahead, uh, Rahul. Yeah, create yeah. policy to show in NSEC. This is NSEC GUI, yeah? it's not Antria. Yeah. Yeah, this is an NSX UI. So let's uh, edit the catalog group to show you how we can create a groups for the pods basic on a dynamic criteria here. So I've created a group for criteria named pod service, uh, which equals to the pod like uh, with the name of catalog. So this can, can be done. Can you stop here? On the top here, you see the default NSX, you have the generic IP address. So this is a new one coming. 
by installing the plugin, that's gonna show up this first time, this is a tech review. Then the thing on a part shows up here, you define the part, you can tag. Like you know, NSX like a lot of tagging. They have the grouping tagging. This now you can do with Entria. Go ahead, Aaron. Yeah. So let's apply a security policy here, uh, similar to the fashion how we do for and virtual machines. So we'll go to the DFW and we don't know the DFW is one... to do the micro segmentation to allow okay. block traffic. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So Acme firewall policy would be applied to the container cluster as I have shown it before to you. So we're gonna apply a policy here with, between the pods and block the ICMP traffic, uh, call traffic. So let me add the rule here. So the source being any, any and the destination being any, and we would be using blocking the service between any and apply to the KHS container cluster here. And then we will drop the traffic and publish the rule. So once the rule is published, we'll switch to the KHS uh, CLI and uh, see how the traffic is blocked between these two within the cluster. So let's see the status of the pods running on the Acme namespace. So we can see all the pods are in running status. Let me log into the front end pod and ping to the catalog pod to see the status of the ping, ping status within these two pods. So obviously the ping shouldn't be working because we have uh, dropped the, all the traffic within the pods. So we can see it here, the ping is not working. So let's switch back to the NSX UI and see this, see the same trace flow from the UI, which is an inbuilt feature within this. So let's select the Kate, uh, Andrea cluster here. Oh, so let's stop here. So on our left, so this is the end trace flow you saw in NSX, for those only familiar with that. So to onboard that, you need to have the license for NSX. So if you like Entria running a single cluster, you don't need any license. We don't want to onboard uh, Entria into that. And when it, I don't know that today, not yet released, Jen, you're going to have a license for NSX because it's a part of the NSX, but you get tremendous value. Why you do that now? NSX offload all of the management for Entria controller, make, make, take care of that, right? Now, the NSX have limited reports, right? If you use NCP in all the solution, I think we limit about 50 or 60,000. Let's say a number of high number of ports. Now, Entria can offload of that. So each Entria cluster is going to manage those ports. And now you don't have to have high scale in every single uh, NSX. Now, can it even scale much, much better? And the left is trade flow traditionally for virtual machine, the bare metal. On the right is a new one, Entria trade flow. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Let me apply the trace here between the source being the front end and the destination in the catalog. So ideally the traffic should be blocked here with these, uh, with our um, security distributed firewall policy here. So we, you can see it's been dropped by the cluster network. We cannot traverse multiple tier. In here we don't have one tier, but we can traverse of tier one, tier zero, if you have multiple tiers in here. And you can trace okay. the flow between Entria paths and services as well. Yeah, it will allow us to apply the rules in same fashion as we do for virtual machines uh, today for in NSX. So let me allow it here and apply uh, publish the policy again. So once I publish the policy, you, we can see the ping starts working automatically within the pods here. So we can we can see the same thing within the uh, yeah. okay. trace flow as well. So let me apply the Andrea trace flow again onto the same cluster within the front end and the catalog pod on the ICMB. I think that's okay. Let me stop it here, right? So let me yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so. You can share your screen to one. Okay, you see Mr. screen or no? Yeah. yeah, we can, yeah. So scale up, right? See scale up in NSF. How do you scale? Did you see the screen? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You see the screen, right? So, yeah, we can we can see it. Yeah. Okay, scale our NSX, right? The question how you scale up. First, we have to choose the CNI. Uh, Kubernetes by default only support one single CNI, right? So here we support three types CNI on uh, TCE, right? So uh, uh, Antria is the default one. Or Montas, that's a joint project we work open source with Intel. And the third one is Calico. But others are uh, CNI, we all support it, right? And then uh, how you scale in the NCP. NCP, you have to have NSX and uh, backing, right? So that's how you deploy and deploy NCP 
that's how it's scaled. So there are limited ports. So every port or every port is gonna plumb into NSX, become uh, NSX managed everything from IP, IPAM, all of that is managed by NSX. Now you do the scaling with Entria, it's giving you a different type of scale. So it doesn't mean it's better or not, depends on the use case, right? Some use case you need, you don't want to deploy easily on the cloud. I mean, Entria is a good choice to start with, or you want to start small and go in production later, that Entria is good stuff. No, it doesn't need to have a vSphere, no. It doesn't have to have NSX at the beginning, no. And then if you want to try that, I have a very nice thing in running in NSX. I have nice cluster running in OpenShift and all the environment or all the clouds, AKS, AKS. I want to try with NSX to do the network uh, coverage. NSX going to be the single panel class, manage the policy. You don't change in the, the data plan. We change, uh, we add only the management side. NSX now can manage policy across multiple cluster, either an entire running here, entry running here, virtual machine running here. On the right side, it tied with uh, entry running outside of NSX context. That also possibility we do it. This, again, this is tech review. Then that's become a very powerful concept, right? And then I have two more minutes. I want to give folks uh, a lot of good things you can follow up with that. So this is a high level, all the demos, right? The demo one, we show enter out running a standalone. Demo two, we show that supervisor cluster tie into NSX and vSphere, and then, and then manage on type workload, virtual machine, bare metal or container. And demo three is the cool thing as well, and tie on together and give you a lot of flexibility and choices. And that is fully open source at tie with DC, Andrew uh, edition uh, community editions, and single platform across multiple environments. That's the power of CNI entry uh, compared with all the CNI. You can do all the things you can compare performance. We, we can compare one on one with any solution. That's not the key thing here. The key thing, the full ecosystem here that no one else on the market can come up with this thing. Antria is the default blocking into vSphere, into Tanzu and the natives. CNI allow you to enforce policy from container virtual machine of bare metal in single click and the scale across multiple environment from on-prem to the cloud. Right, where are you gonna learn more? We'll go and check it out on a lot of places, right? And this is one link in tech zone. I want to go and then check out, before we do that, this is uh, the phone visibility and uh, portfolio of VMware, uh, modern app connectivity, we call it. The Entria is the core of virtual network infrastructure. And I have the ebook coming out very soon with the uh, auto folks who went in uh, the VMware networking business unit. Now, this is tied with the whole ecosystem with Tanzu. This is the Tanzu's mission control, Tanzu service mesh, Tanzu, uh, all the Tanzu in here running on top. And we have security on the right, on the analytics machine learning. And NSX is the networking plumbing for all of that. And I want to end it demo here as a three key takeaway, right? But entry, you can start small. The DevOps gonna love it. Easy to use, easy to control, one single click. You can deploy that in every node like Rahul just showed in the first demo. Then you can tie with vSphere. If you have vSphere, you're still using that. And demo two, we show all the graded related value of entry with, uh, sorry, NCP with NSX, tie into vSphere and become a very nice value. And the third one, the team you choice, now you start with one, you want to go with NSX, you can combine that in the demo tree. That's the full value of NSX, Entria, and NCP together. It's a your big picture of our VMware container update for this year, container networking, I mean. And then to learn more, how things fit into everything, right? Like exactly the full picture. This is running on-prem, right? Or with TKG or Tanzu thing on the left here. It's a supervisor cluster tied with NSX vSphere or you run an entry like with demo one or demo three, we showed that. And then those things running as a global manager, there are two things, right? NSX global manager allow you to do network pumping on the layer two on the way to layer four, like same level as CNI running and entry. Or you want to do a laser layer seven, we have Tanzu Global uh, TSM, Tanzu Service Mesh, or we have an AOV, NSX uh, AOV to do global load balancer across multiple clouds. And to learn more, there are a number. You can look at, put a number on the, the chat, on the, the search of VMworld, you just find those session. And this session is go deep very well uh, in the demo too, very deep, so 1426, go to Tanzu, we here. This session go to a lot of our net 1282, with my colleague talk about very deep into uh, container networking. 
And this thing, our uh, demo 2946, we demo everything about how to apply policy at entry. Uh, the one in demo three, more or less, you saw the similar thing there. And now you want to ask ARV, all the things, those go all the session. Uh, you want to learn about CTO keynote, those things we have it here. I built a demo with uh, the team here. So those are the great demos, show the, the full portfolio end to end story, how we start with single, go all the way to the cloud, all the environment. And we want to learn more about the clouds, go other sessions. And feel free to fill out a survey and help us to get feedback and things like that. Thank you so much for attending the last session of the day. Yeah, but uh, I want to give you one extra thing is the new things coming out. That's it, the ebook I'm talking. This is coming out very shortly. Check it out on YouTube. So, sorry, not YouTube, on uh, Twitter or on. Uh, uh, any channel communication is gonna come out at in the thing you see it the whole uh, VCN we call it virtual cloud network from VMware to talk about how you do practitioner can apply it in your daily work about Antria, Tian, Tanzu, thing everything from end to end story. So that that is the modern app connectivity we're talking. So those things gonna come out very soon. Yeah, thank you very much for your attending. Any questions you can ask. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much. Yeah. So uh, I go back to questions. So Antria is we do Antria. We don't do EPPF, right? EPPF in different solution. Uh, other competitor doing that. We look at that right now. Antria is tied to, together with OBS. So we deploy Antria. That means you deploy OBS on the node already. So you don't need to go and we don't support to, to change right now. So I don't think none of the uh, provider do that. Yeah, but you get a ton of benefit from uh, Antria. You have all the performance numbers. Reach out to me and the team. We can share more detail. And we test in production, 1,000 nodes. And that limited that uh, uh, vSphere can support 1,024 nodes right now. And we do support that. We test it in production and all the great numbers you saw on the demo. OK, if not, thank you so much for your feedback. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, so. Feel free to reach out to us and and uh, let me let me share a couple of links so folks can stay one more like I can I post on the link and here you can grab it a lot of demo links so I can share that uh, over chat right so let me put on the chat so on the link I put in here I'm not sure I can send over chat yeah those are the link you can grab it you cannot copy paste uh, yeah thank you so much for attending uh, so otherwise i'm going to share by later i cannot share it but the one thing i want to uh, uh, you look at here is the uh the vm world right so check it out that ton of session so let's say i have the number here right so if you want to check out uh, my in the session here you just type the number here it take you directly to to, uh, to the session. You don't need to look at uh, everywhere here. So it'd be there on the recording, stay there for I think one or two weeks even in time and I don't know, but for sure a few the next few days. You just put a number here, you should go directly to the session and you can go to my session. You can type it 2743, right? And that's the one place you can go. Another place is demo zone. It's a ton of demo we bring up. So of course you're gonna see more of our networking and security. So we put uh, uh, a lot of updates in this year security. You have one session that about demo number three, we just saw that with my colleagues, Madhu and do it. Uh, a lot of security updates as well, by the way, that's a vSphere back in inside NSX back in inside vSphere, the 70U3 vSphere that you see a great demo. And the entry is here, the 2946, so the demo number three, you just saw it. And demo number two is somewhere here. You can look at all the number I put on the chat. So I put again, this side, you can see. You put a number, you should see everything and in, 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 the, in, the, in the chat, easy to track all the numbers. This is one to take away. This is the side you should take away from here. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you very much for your attending. So thanks.